enough dynamite there, but My name is Dave the Beast Richardson, and I'm a professional safeguard. Beast is called Beastie because people in the trade have seen him beat and manhandle safes into submission to get him open. The difference between safe cracking in the movies and in real life is we don't cut safes open, we don't torch them open or burn them open. We do it in the most surreptitious way possible. I love cracking safes. It gets into your blood. It's like the feeling of winning a, a large jackpot. One time this uh, really distraught sweet old lady had us opening up a safe because her husband was in ill health. Imagine the shock on her face when we opened up the safe and it was filled with nothing but porno flicks of young teenage girls. She was not happy. Hi, this is Dave Richardson, Safe Service. Can I help you? Today we're going down to see a customer of mine, uh, Bart. He owns a double door Moser safe. We'll see if we can go help him out. Combination's in the safe, and there's a wedding ring in there that my sister needs to get out so she can get married. So it's kind of important. Now I'm going to feel the lock and see if it's going to be able to reveal the combination to me, just using my fingertips and my other senses. And then if that works, great. But if not, then we're going to have to take it up to level two to sending Eddie out for some more tools. We'll do surgical penetration and we'll open it that way. Sounds good. All right, here we go. Can I have the contact points first? Your contact points, 15 and a quarter. 15, 56 is 15. Now I'm going to work down. I'm going to start at 98. Same. Same. Here's some tools. Bring me some minis also, please. What's the chances of damaging the safe? None. That's good. And it takes a little bit of training to develop that steady, consistent touch, much like it would be if you were a violin player to hit the right chords. Just walk me down. 23? Yep. 81? Yep. One more. Wow, feels good. I didn't know if I'd ever get it open again. There's the rain. Wedding can continue at this point. My name is Edward King. They call me Fast Eddie, and I'm Beastie's apprentice. Eddie is definitely my right hand man. I just think of him like a son almost. You know, he's a, he's a great guy. Eddie and I can work together without verbal communication. We've been doing it so long. We just know what what comes next and what's needed next. Cool, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Crank it. Between safe cracking and safe moving, safe moving is much more dangerous and you have a chance of having permanent injuries happen to you in a grander scale. Safes fall down on you, they crush limbs, sometimes they take your life. An example would be uh, one of my associates that I work with. This is my adopted brother, Bob Stanley. I'm a living example of what can happen. It only takes a second for something to go wrong. The safe started falling off the forklift and ended up landing across my legs and crushing both my legs. Uh, safe is 4,500 pounds. You end up with something that looks like this. Adam, tuck your shirt in, please. My name is Adam Regan. They call me Babyface. I'm a safe mover for Beastie. Babyface Adam is a new addition to our company. He's in charge of the driving uh, responsibilities for delivering safes. Beastie is a great guy, an even greater boss. He had a short temperament. All right, stop. So maybe it didn't take out the belt and move the stuff here yet. He can be big and scary. Watch it, watch it, watch it, Adam, stop. Watch your corner there. As long as you know how to play your cards right, you can stay on the safe side. All right, you guys go and don't crash or do anything stupid, okay? Take it easy. Ah! 